Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to set up the Chat Eye mod for Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord on Steam. This mod lets you have immersive, intelligent conversations with NPCs, and I'll walk you through the setup step by step. Let's dive in. First, subscribe to the Chat Eye mod on the Steam Workshop. Once subscribed, the mod will download automatically, but Chat Eye has some requirements you'll also need to subscribe to. Mod Configuration Menu, Butterlib, Harmony, and UI Extender X. You'll find links to all these mods on the Steam page. Once they're installed, make sure they're enabled in the Bannerlord Launcher under the Mods tab. Now, ChatEye requires an API key to function, and you have a few options for this. Open AI API Key, the most recommended option. Open Router API Key. This gives access to many additional models, including some that are free or uncensored. Local AI Model. You can set up a local model on your computer. However, this option is not recommended for beginners due to its complexity. For this tutorial, we'll be focusing on setting up an open AI API key, which is the easiest and most reliable option. To get an open AI API key, visit the OpenAI website link in the description. Create an account and verify it with your phone number. Once logged in, navigate to the API section and generate a new API key. Add funds to your OpenAI account. Keep in mind that OpenAI charges a small amount per request to the API. After you've generated your API key, copy it. Next, launch Bannerlord and go into the mod settings via the mod configuration menu MCM. Paste your API key into the chat AI settings. Select the backend as OpenAI. Choose GPT-3.5 as the version. If you have an OpenAI subscription, you can select GPT-4 for better responses. And that's it! You're ready to head in-game and start chatting with NPCs. ChatEye works with most other mods and is previous save-friendly. If you're already in a game, there's no need to start a new save. When talking to NPCs, make sure you wait for the message I am ready to respond in the bottom left corner of the screen before clicking Continue. This ensures everything is processed correctly. If you encounter any issues or errors, open the ChatEye mod settings and enable debugging mode. Try talking to an NPC again to recreate the issue. Locate the mod log file in your Bannerlord modules folder and share that log file in the ChatEye community discord for support. The community is always ready to help. That's it for today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI content. Check out the description for links to all the resources mentioned in this video, and join the ChatEye Community Discord if you need any additional support. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.